Eating better will have a huge effect on your life. Whether or not it's your weight, sleep quality, energy levels, they will all improve. The problem is the nutrition information that we get from the media is either cherry picked or it's for the obese population. So I'm gonna uncover five myths that you still believe that aren't true. Guys, if you don't know who I am, I'm Sal from Red Pill Fitness, where I offer you the fitness red pill the industry and shill media don't want you to take. So not in any order, let me blow your mind. And feel free to put any hate in the comments if you remain blue pill. So the first myth is that sweeteners are bad for you. The truth is the poison is in the dose. And this information came from rat studies, and we're not rats, where they drank the equivalent of eight liters of Diet Coke. Of course, that's gonna to be toxic for you. But the reality is white sugar or sugar in itself is far more dangerous, even at smaller doses than sweeteners. If you're wondering what sweetener to try, I would recommend stevia because it's natural, it has some nutrients, and it's way, way better than sugar. The second myth is that fruit is bad for you because it contains fructose. Okay, fruit is the only thing on the planet that wants to be eaten. Okay, animals don't want to be eaten. Vegetables don't want to be eaten because both of them die when you eat them. Whereas fruit is made for us to consume. Because fruit has fiber, it offsets any negative effects that we'd get from the fructose. There is a caveat though. If you are morbidly obese or sedentary, you'd only walk from the fridge and back, yes, fruit can be a problem. But for the rest of the population, eat as much fruit as you can. Number three, eating only the egg white is what you should do. All the nutrients of an egg are in the yellow. The white is just basically water. Yes, there is fat in eggs, but the fat is good fat monounsaturated fat, and this is readily metabolized or burnt by the body. Now, in eggs, there is protein, but half the amino acids are in the yolk and half the amino acids are in the yellow, and you need all of them together to make the protein absorbable. So, for example, an egg might have six grams of protein, but if you only have the white, that's three grams, and because you don't have all the amino acids, you might only absorb one gram of the protein. Number four is potatoes are bad for you. Potatoes are superfood. They're packed with iron, vitamin B, vitamin C, and potassium. The issue is how we cook the potatoes, because we either fry them, we make them into jacket potatoes and put oil in them, we make them roast potatoes with duck fat, we do all sorts of things to bump up the calories. Now, yes, potatoes have a high GI level, and that means they release sugar into your bloodstream very, very quickly. And if you add that with lots of fat from something like a roast potato, it can be very damaging for your waistline. So what I would say is eat potatoes because they're very filling, but make sure you don't eat them on, your own, on their own. You eat them with something like a steak. Myth number five is that dairy should be avoided. Okay, this is a cl classic moronic propaganda from vegans because they feel if they think something is ethically wrong, it cannot at the same time be nutritious or good for you. Unfortunately, dairy is fantastic. For example, milk is a fantastic post-workout drink. It's full of protein, electrolytes, calcium. It's brilliant for you. Now, lots of people say that dairy promotes things like obesity or cancer, but the fact is that the countries that drink the most milk or consume the most dairy, sorry, Sweden, the Netherlands, and Finland don't have any issues. They do not have high obesity or high cancer rates. Now, there are some people that don't deal well with milk, lactose intolerance, but generally, like with sweeteners, the poison is in the dose. You can have a little bit of milk, but a lot of it 
will give you some form of reaction. And generally, if you have darker skin, you don't deal as well with milk. One way to tell or guarantee that you know that you have lactose intolerance is if you have protein shake and you get the shits or you have protein farts. This is a signal that you don't deal well with milk. Guys, if you love this, subscribe. Thank you for taking the red pill. If not, put the hate below with the blue pill, guys.